Okay, lesson 14 dash time, elapsed time. Now we've done elapsed time with our start time and our end time. And normally they're giving us the start time and working towards the end time. Today where they're gonna give us the end time and we're gonna work backwards to figure out what the start time is. Okay, so let's take a look at this. The elapsed time is the total amount of time that passes from the start time to the end time. So it is nine o'clock a.m. Okay, this is the hour hand. Write down what time it is right here. Okay, it is 10, 5, 10, 15, 20, 10, 20 a.m. Okay, write the times on the clock we just did. What is the elapsed time between the start time and the end time? Okay, so if we have start time is nine o'clock, end time is 10, 20, right? Okay, we have one hour. That would get us from nine o'clock to 10 o'clock. And then we have to figure out how many minutes is it from 10 to 10, 20. So we can do one 20 minute hill or you could do it as two tens, right? This would be 10, 10 and then 10, 20. So what's your total elapsed time? Write that down there. You can pause it and write it down. be one hour and 20 minutes okay so now here's the kind of the little trickier ones so Nora wants to arrive at the airport at 350 okay this is the time she wants to arrive that's her end time it takes her 45 minutes to get to the airport to travel there so this is what time she needs to leave plus 45 minutes will take her there right then it takes her 15 minutes to get ready so she needs to leave 15 minutes earlier than the time to leave to get ready and she has to pack so it's going to take her 30 minutes to pack 15 minutes to get ready and 45 minutes to travel okay but remember we have to work backwards we're not adding the time to 350 because we don't want to start at 6 o'clock p.m. in order to get there at 350 we're gonna have to start you know probably at like 2 o'clock in the afternoon 2.30, 2.45, and then, I mean, that's not exact right. We have to figure out what time, but you start at a certain time and adding these times makes us end at 3.50. So we're gonna work backwards, okay? So let's flip over to the back. Okay, we're gonna do these basically like one at a time. So our end time is 3.50, and we wanna know what time will it be in 45 minutes before that, okay? So we wanna subtract 45 from it. So let's just like take off 10 minutes, 10 groups of, of, or four groups of 10 and then a five minutes, right? We'll just do 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, and a five minute, because that'll be 10, 20, 30, 40, 45 minutes. 10, 20, 30, 40, 45 minutes. So 10 minutes before 3.50, Right, 510 is gonna be 340. Right, we're going backwards. So what's 10 minutes before 340? It should be 330. Okay, what's 10 minutes before 330? It should be 320. What's 10 minutes before 320? 310. And what's five minutes before 310? 305. Okay, so flip back over to the front. This will be 305. So she needs to leave the airport at 305. It will take her 45 minutes to get there and she'll get there at 305. Now we need to go figure out what is 15 minutes before 305. So flip back over to the back. Okay, our end time is 3.05, and we want to know 15 minutes. So you have to be very careful. We've got to get to 3 o'clock first, okay? Because remember our, our clock over here. We are at 3.05. Three right? And we're going to subtract 15 minutes. So we've got to subtract five minutes and get to three o'clock. 
and then we can move into the two o'clock range, okay? Because we're switching hours. You gotta be careful when you're passing 12. Remember, that's like passing go on Monopoly. You've gotta stop and pay attention, okay? So we're at 3.05, so let's take off the five minutes to get to three o'clock, okay? Five minutes gets us to three o'clock. Now, we still need to take away 10 more minutes. So five, 10. Okay, so what time is that gonna be? In 10 minutes would be 2.50, right? You gotta, you gotta work backwards, okay? So now, if we wanna leave at 3.05, it takes us 15 minutes to get ready, we have to start getting ready at 2.50. Now let's take off 30 minutes before 2.50. Well, here we are, it's at 2.50. We wanna take away 30 minutes, okay? So flip to the back again. Your end time is 2.50. You wanna take off 30 minutes from that, right? So we can count backwards 10, 10, and 10, right? 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, that's 30. So we're at, what happened? We were at 2.50, right? So let's take off 10 minutes. Where does that take us? 2.40. Let's take off another 10 minutes. Where's that gonna bring us? Write it right here. Should be 2.30. And let's take off another 10 minutes. Where's that gonna take us? 2.20. Okay, so if we take off 30 minutes, it should be 2.20, okay? So 45 minutes before 3.05, or 3.50 is 3.05. 15 minutes before that is 2.50. And 30 minutes before that is 2.20. So we should start packing at 2.20 if we wanna to get to the airport at 3.05. I'm gonna show you another way that I think is kind of cool, okay? If we know, if we add up all of this time, right? 45, it takes 45 minutes to travel, 15 minutes to get ready, and 30 minutes to uh, pack, right? Let's see the total time that is, okay? 45, you could do 45 plus 15 is 60, right? And then we wanna add another 30 to it, is 90, okay? So it's a total of 90 minutes, which is one hour and 30 minutes, right? So if I am, Ending at 3.50, okay? I can take away one hour, which is 60 of the minutes, and that gets me to 2.50. So now all I have to do is take away 30 minutes from 2.50, and that's gonna be 2.40, 2.30, .30, and 2.20. So you could always add up your total minutes, and then that kinda allows you to put it together in taking off an hour or even adding an hour, depending on which way you're going. So those are, they both work. You got the same answer both times. So it's, it's up to you, whatever is easiest to you. And sometimes, depending on the problem, one way is easier than the other. So it's good to know both ways. All right, on the back, Mark wants to watch TV at 8 p.m. This is his end time. It takes his family 10 minutes to clear the table, 45 minutes to eat dinner, and 30 minutes to make dinner. What time should the family start making dinner? Well, let's let's just set up our end time, okay? End time is eight o'clock p.m. Okay, let's add up the total minutes we have. 10 minutes, 45 minutes, and 30 minutes, okay? So we got 10, 45, and 30. Let's see how much time we got here. Five, and five plus three is eight. So we have 85 minutes, okay? So that means you gotta break that up into 60 minutes, which is one hour, and 25 minutes, right? Because 60 plus 25 is the same as 85, okay? So let's take off from eight o'clock. Let's back up one hour. That gets us to seven o'clock. Now we just have to subtract 25 minutes from seven. So let's do 10, 20, five. Right? So from seven o'clock, if we take off 10 minutes, we're at seven o'clock, if we take off 10 minutes, 
We are at 650. If we take off another 10 minutes, right? We're at 640. And take off five minutes, we'd be at 635. Okay? So it would be 635. So we could do it that way. Okay? If that's hard, then start at 8 p.m. and work backwards. Takes them 10 minutes to clear the table. So what is 10 minutes before 8 p.m.? You know it's gonna be seven something, right? Because eight o'clock is right on the dot here, okay? So we got 10 minutes before, that's gonna be 7.50. Then we have 45 minutes, we need to do 45 minutes, so let's go 10, 20, 30, 45. 10, 20, 30, 45. So going backwards from 750 would be 740, 730. We're just counting back, we're taking 10 off each time. 720, 710, and 705, okay? And then we gotta take 30 minutes off of 705. Well, if we're at 705, we're gonna take how much off? 30. Okay, but we at 7.05, we have to get to 7 first. So we've got to take off 5 and get to 7. Okay, and we need 30, so that means we still have 25 left. So we can do 10, 20, and 5. Because 10, 20, plus 2 fives equals, this is our 30 minutes up here. Okay, this was our 45, and this was our 10. Okay, 10, 20, 30, 45. Okay, so we got seven o'clock minus 10 minutes is 6.50, 6.40, and 6.35. Same answer that we got above, okay? All right, good job.